morning everybody, welcome to uh, the Hilton here for our latest announcement, absolutely over the moon to announce that the St George Groves has joined and signed a promotional contract with Matchroom Boxing, he'll make his first fight for us this Saturday at Wembley Arena, live on Sky Sports, gives me huge pleasure to bring him to the team and also back to Sky Sports. George is in a, a perfect position if you like for someone who is we see as one of the future stars of British boxing. Number one in the WBO, number six in the WBC, seven in the IBF, and three in the WBA. Plenty of opportunities out there for him. Obviously the, the potential winner for Abraham Stieglitz in time, even a potential fight with Carl Froch. And we're also delighted to announce that uh, George will be chief support for that uh, Carl Froch versus Mikhail Kessler fight at the O2 on May the 25th. We're gonna have one-on-ones, everyone's gonna get your chance to talk to all of us. Um, I want to introduce, firstly, someone who's going to be, obviously, steering the ship for George Groves. He's almost like I see him as my boss now, if you like, because what he says goes, and we'll be basically working to his instructions in terms of how he wants us to move George at pace or at not pace or whatever he wants to do. Like I said, we're, we're led by Adam. He's steering the ship here. And um, just to say a few words, Adam. Uh, good morning. It's the first time... Uh, I've worked with Matrim and I'm looking forward to it and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I've been thinking about George's career obsessing over it for quite a long time and thinking about what the next stage is and, and how now he gets from being 16 and 0 and on the cusp of being challenging for a world title and making that next step which although it might seem a very short step is a huge one um, and having spoken to Eddie We've all agreed that we'd like to make that step with Eddie and Matra. And, and I'm happy, I'm excited, but more importantly, I'll leave it to George. Sorry. George, over to you, mate. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited to be working with Matra and working with Eddie. He showed a real enthusiasm, uh, a passion uh, to work with me, to uh, <coughs> see that he, you know, he really believes in me, he knows I can go all the way. And um, this is an opportunity that I could no way turn down. Um, boxing on uh, the undercard of a pay-per-view show is, as chief support is something I've done before, but uh, on the undercard of uh, Rush Kessler uh, and the O2 Arena will be special. And um, uh, as, as Eddie said earlier, it's a step in the right direction for me to become a world champion. Um, I've, got, I've got great rankings uh, with all the the big company bodies and um, that's what we're looking towards, that's what we're working towards this year and um, with the help of Matrim and, and the back of the sky it's going to be uh, exciting times for sure. Thanks George, just to echo that, uh, our immediate short term plans with George is fighting on Saturday, we'll have a full press release coming out about the fight being a 10 round fight this Saturday um, on Sky will be second shown live. Lee Purdy against Carson Jones firstly, then George, then Darren Barker versus Simone Rotolo. Um, then he'll fight on the Froch Kessler undercard in a big fight there as chief support. And then he'll be headlining his own show in September in London. So that's the short term plan. Three fights very quickly um, you know, in, a, in a six month period or less. And really progress him in the way that Adam feels he needs to be progressed and give him every chance to succeed. So before we break on one on ones, going to open to the floor for any questions. We do for Saturday. Uh, Anthony will send you that release. George, how hard was it to walk away from a big fight coming up on the other bill? Yeah, um, it was very, very difficult. Um, I hold the, the European title as you know, a very prestigious title. It's something that I would love to win, and I do hope to so challenge for one day. Um, there's a lot of complicated issues at the moment with, with that fight. And unfortunately, you know, I've had to um, give it a miss for now. But you know, it's something that I would really love to fight for. In, you know, one day we we'll have to see how it goes. This is a, you know, I've got um, a new promoter. Adam understands it very well as well, manager. So you know, it's up to those guys. I see whatever's put in front of me. You know, I'll take. So it, it was. It was very difficult. You know, it was. I was you know, really upset. Upset for the fans who who made plans come and see me fight for the European title and now they're just, you know, not going to be able to see that so it's tough, it's really tough but 
trial could be about. Adam, have you got a take on that? No, not really. I'm, 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 I'm only fixed on where we're going now. And, and all that matters now is good performance on Saturday, the right performance, showing the things that we're working in the gym, and then stepping on May 25th to a, a hopefully a big competitive fight, but then just pushing them that much closer to a world title challenge. Because there's been a lot of speculation about why you've left, Frank Warren. What's your reason? Um, I'd, I'd rather not say. I mean, right right now, um, I'm excited to be working with Matchroom. I think that's the right thing for me. Um, and he's been putting on great shows. Sky have really sort of took on boxing this season. We've seen you know, the, the profiles raise of Carl Franks and Kel Brook. Um, good fighters who are moving on successfully in their careers and I want to be part of that so right now this is the right move for me and I'm just looking towards the future. George, for, for various reasons including injury and things, you, you've not fought as often as you wanted have you in the last year or two? No, I haven't. So, I, I mean are you hoping this move will give, give you more opportunities? Um, it's about staying healthy, staying fit. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll be boxing as regular as I need to be. Uh, as long as I'm fit and healthy too. So you know, we're going to take obviously each fighter to come. I'm out. Uh, I signed with Eddie and I'm boxing a week later, so I can't complain. Fair question, Scars. Eddie, what was the timeline between George actually agreeing to join you and actually the fights on Saturday? Well, we agreed terms late last week. Um, you know, because of his situation and because of the fact that he's healthy and he's in camp, we've got a show on March the 9th, so I felt it was an ideal opportunity. Financially, it's not the greatest situation for us to add him to a card where we've already mostly sold the tickets for him, we've only got a week's lead time, but in terms of the development of George Groves' career, it was a fight that had to take place, in my opinion. You know, the last thing he wants to do is not fight or you know, be in a situation where he's gone through a camp that, that hasn't worked out and he hasn't fought. So, March the 9th was a perfect opportunity. We've got a series of big shows coming up, but in terms of the, the, the gaps and the spaces for what we uh, discussed with Adam, in terms of May the 25th is a key, is a key date for me. It's, it's a huge show. Profile-wise, if we want to build George in London the way we want to and, and let him you know, really own his own show in September, that May the 25th date was so important. So we looked at our other shows, March the 30th in Liverpool, April the 20th, and they just didn't make sense time-wise, and this one did. Um, so we jumped, we jumped on it, and he'll be boxing on Saturday at Wembley. George, was was there a problem with the European title? Uh, I'm boxing Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what, what I'm trying to say is that there wasn't a temptation to go through with that and then move later. There's no, uh, there, 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 there's no temptation in answering that question. We <laughs> need to know that he's going to fight on Saturday. We don't want to talk about. Anything that was before, all we want to talk about is what's in front. I think we made that clear in his answer. Okay. Nothing. Make it doubly clear now. <laughs> well, it's exciting, you know. It's a, what, what's happened's happened. It's none of my business, and I think now it's a ch it's a chance really for George to move through, forward at a great pace. Sky, Adam Smith, and all the team at Sky are very, very excited about having George on the channel. They're going to push him just as hard as we're going to push him, and. And, you know, we're really looking forward to, to the job ahead. Myself, the team, we're going to put everything into this and give George every opportunity to su succeed, and it's very, very exciting. Has, has George been on Sky before? Remember when he fought that fellow called James De Gale? Well, that was the guy. Not since then. Not since James, no? No. no. And, and the, the, night beat, the, the, night beat, the night he beat James, um, he was the brightest young prospect in British boxing, voted by the boxing writers and, and, and now it's time for George to put that spotlight back on himself again and, and, and get the get the recognition that his abilities deserve and fulfil his abilities as well. Alright guys, break for one on ones, thank you very much. See you Saturday <coughs> night.